So in our last video, we discussed three things that make chemistry a much different class to wrap your head around than most other science classes. And in the second and final pre-chemistry video, and in keeping with the top three theme, let's focus on three core topics in chemistry. Topics so integral to introductory chemistry that you'd be hard pressed to find any lesson that doesn't incorporate at least one of them. So in no particular order, let's begin. Topic number one is chemical nomenclature. This is a big one. If you don't learn how to name chemical compounds correctly, you are dead in the water. Nomenclature is the organizing language of chemistry. Everything is represented both by a chemical name and a chemical formula, and you have to be comfortable jumping back and forth. Obviously, this starts with knowing the elements and their symbols, but then there are the rules for different types of ions and for ionic compounds and for molecular compounds, throw in polyatomic ions, take into account the adjustments for naming acids, and don't forget to spell everything correctly because if you change one letter, you change the compound. It's a lot, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. My advice? Stagger the memorization and the application for success. Most students struggle with nomenclature because they are trying to memorize all the chemical bits and learn the rules at the same time. Try to memorize all the elements, ions, and polyatomics ahead of time. Start a couple months out if possible. Once you have all that stuff in your head, you can focus on learning the actual nomenclature rules without trying to memorize content at the same time. Topic number two, manipulating units. As I mentioned in the first video, chemistry is a math class. Make no bones about it. Chemistry uses tons of conversions and algebraic manipulations, and all of those are chock full of units. I've noticed that students tend not to think much about units and tack them on as an afterthought. But they are so much more than that. Units have to work their way through the math problem just like the numbers. So units can help you set up the problem correctly and check your answer. In fact, once you get good at watching your units, your math problems will pretty much take care of themselves. So my advice, ignore the numbers on the first pass through a math problem and just focus on making sure the units work their way through correctly. And I'll speak more about this in a future video if you are interested. Topic number three, tracking electrons. You want to know how they finally caught Al Capone? Failing to pay income tax. Now that doesn't sound glamorous, but when you can follow the currency, all kinds of things become knowable. And the currency of chemistry is the electron. The electrons determine everything. They determine how stable or reactive elements are. They determine what kind of ions atoms will form and what kind of compounds they can make. They determine the 3D shapes of molecules and how those molecules will physically interact with each other. In fact, I can make a very strong argument that every single compound in the universe owes its existence to a couple of atoms trying to get a stable number of electrons. If this was the matrix, you wouldn't be seeing everything as a computer code. You'd be seeing everything as electrons. I know chemistry. Show me. My advice? Start by really trying to understand what an ion is. Students who can make predictions about possible charges and can articulate that clearly are always the strongest students moving forward. So there they are. Nomenclature, units, and electrons. Now I bet there is some disagreement out there on this list, so let me know what you think. To paraphrase Moby Dick, if you are filled with such rage and hate, then by all means, load that chest mortar and burst your hot heart's shell right into that comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Check out some of my older videos for help on any of these topics. And thanks for watching, and have a great day.